All right, so the first thing you want to do is take your scissors. You want to make some holes. You don't want to make them too big because then, you know, you'll have your clothes hanging off of you. So, you know, make a few jagged slits here. And then you want to take a wire brush, you know, it's what you would use to clean like your barbecue grill or welding tools. And you want to rough up those edges so they look worn because if they're clean cuts, it just it doesn't look natural, which is what a lot of people do and make mistakes with. You want to rough up those edges. Even what's underneath because when you're a zombie, everything rots. So really rough that up, make it look worn. You can see some of these aren't quite done enough. Next, you want to take some paint and you don't want to go overkill because then it just looks like you just drop paint on there. So you can take some cheap, you know, craft paint, pick it up a little thing of it at Walmart for like a buck. Take a cheap brush. You really just want just the tiniest little bit. And you're gonna go around those edges and just dirty those up. And you wanna move away from the hole in the direction that it would fall with gravity. If you were walking, you know, you know, everything would drip downward. So, you know, if your arm's hanging down, you want that all to go downward away from that hole you just made. So really, just really lightly brush that on there. You can see that gives kind of a rotted look. Everything goes downward. This will work on any costume, doesn't have to be a suit, works on dresses, you know, you'll get different effects with different uh, fabrics and materials, but that's the basic look you wanna get with that. Okay, so when you're painting other parts of your costume, any area that you would brush up against something in normal life that would get dirty, you know, the, the higher areas, you want to dirty those up just a tad, just like we did with the holes, just a light brushing, you know, the shoulders, rub up against things, elbows, any areas that are farther back in, like in the seams here, that normally wouldn't brush up against anything, you wanna leave those alone and just hit the higher areas around those. Like you can see on the pocket, you know, dirty that up just a little bit. Around your sleeves, sleeves get really dirty. If you've ever worn a white shirt, you'll know that. Just dirty those up all along the areas that would brush up against anything. All right, this is a little bit more advanced. Uh, if you've got an airbrush, that's uh, probably your best option. A lot of people don't have them, but this is just for if you do. Take your hole that you've made with your scissors, rough up your edges, do a light coat around that with airbrush, and then drag downward. Remember, you're dragging downward in the direction that gravity would make that drip. You want to, when you do these, you want to go over with, a lighter color first and, and do a little bit more and then go back in and accent it with a, a little bit of a darker color, a darker brown, maybe a little bit of a black. And when you're doing this, you want to remember what you will be wearing underneath that. If you're wearing a white shirt, you don't want, you know, bright white shown through this hole. You want to do paint, you know, a brown, brown circle about this big around to cover that in case you're moving. You don't want it to look like a stencil with white edges all around that. Uh, another thing you, that's uh, kind of fun to do is is your buttons. You know, spray just a little bit around those and make those look, you know, like they've rotted. And again, you want, might want to put it on to make sure what direction everything would go. Take all those, dirty up all your edges, and uh, that's pretty much the basics.